What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Nathan Edgington, BCC Happy, Death Singer, Kaylee McRae, Jennifer San Marco, Sharday Ratter, Ember Quill, XX Raiden XX, Loiso Crow, Thomas Gabriel White, The Common Cold, Grimex Law 22, Hayden Morandini, Evil Twin 01, Starman 12, Daniel Hudson, Tiffy, Goku, XS7, Gwiri 9, Douglas Varon, Carl Lee, Abigail Stemper, John Beck, Mark Rios, Taylor Mitchell, and OXL. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. Nope. Nope. You motherfucker every time. Right behind you. What? How? Ah, oh, damn it. How am I going to explain this to my wife? John Tron is such an awesome YouTuber. Watching his videos will blow, just blow your mind up right in front of your face. No, no it didn't happen. Okay, okay, okay. okay. thank, thank goodness. goodness. <sighs> That's because I never had a mind to begin with. They're too good, man. They're too good. But another one of my favorite ones is just like... That was good. Also... Flame sex. <laughs> I like the one he was riding that horse backwards. That was, oh, that? Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that's the, uh, that was uh, Isaiah I'll, Mustafa. I like the, the old mom one, too. The uh, old spice. Take a look at what you've done. Medicine come on right, right down, down on my side. Side. Old spice. <laughs> I, 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 my, my favorite, favorite Terry, Terry, my favorite Terry Crews one was, was the one that's like, like, Old Spice is so powerful, make you as, it'll, it'll make you as powerful, powerful as me. me. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, like, it is just like, yeah, it is. Who said that? And all of a sudden, his, his uh, right, right bicep grows a hand and then points at his left bicep. He's like, was, was that, that my left bicep? bicep? No. Nah, it was my uh, abdominals. Yeah. <laughs> it's so creepy, but so awesome all at the same time. Building kick. Explosion! Sorry. Sorry. Uh, so, so, yeah. John's Run Food, food Game, part, part two. We did part one. Uh, and, and I wanted, wanted to wait until we had Jacob with us uh, to do this one. And we, and we didn't really get a chance to do it yesterday because, because uh, you know, we were recording, recording Dr. Stone, Stone and also it was, it was pretty late, late by the time we were done. done. So, so uh, yeah. yeah. So, <sighs> John Tron Food Games game, Part 2. You know, you know what? what? Let's, let's stop dilly dallying and let's just get into it. Here we go. John Tron. Drama. I'm oh, sorry. We've lost the baby. Oh, God. No, no, no. I mean, like, we've literally lost him. We can't find him. Yeah. He's gone. <laughs> what? Romance. God damn it. I love you. What do you mean you love me? Why would you say that? Playing hard to get, are you? Action. What? You don't want to miss this. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned for more of John Tron. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I Happening. That, that is not, not what happened, happened in the last episode. episode. What I do remember is that we played a ton of games based on fast food marketing campaigns. But if you thought we were done, oh how wrong you were. Next on the list, The Noid. This was one of the strangest marketing campaigns of all time for Domino's Pizza. What exactly did they think would do for their brand? If you've ever gotten cold pizza, a squash pizza, a pizza that just wasn't right. One time I got annoyed the pepperonis didn't come on my delivery pizza that I I forgot to put them on. He loves to ruin your pizza. Well then, he just sounds like a bad guy to hang around then, doesn't he? But at Domino's Pizza, we avoid the noise. Is this really a testament to the pizza or the box it's packaged in? I don't know what the appeal was here, but apparently he was popular enough to get his own game. Hmm, not gonna tip on this delivery. 
The game starts off with a yo noid update. Wild creatures led by Mr. Green are assailing New York City. Well, that don't sound too good. The mayor knows that only the Noid has the power to stop them. The mayor, spelled M-A-Y-E-R, huh? I'll assume he's referring to John Mayer. Uh, yes, very popular in the Yonoid universe for, uh, because of how much he looks like a big pepperoni. Using his super yo-yo and other inventions, he will try. <laughs> that's it? He will try? Well, that's all you could ask of somebody, isn't it? Oh uh, yes, the very accurate map of New York City we've got here. Of course, pictured after a devastating nuclear holocaust has ravaged the world and grass and weeds have consumed the land. Hey, but at least Trump Tower still survived. I started off in Brooklyn. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. I came into Manhattan. Oh God, this is the alternate universe where Trump wins, isn't it? This first level here is already excruciating. The perspective on the water is all out of whack. It's completely disorienting. Sometimes you think oh. you'll land on the wood, but you'll just touch the water and die. Or some fish will come up from beneath you and fuck your shit up. There's no checkpoints, so you have to do each level in one beautiful oh, run. No. It's hard. Welcome to the pizza eating contest. Oh boy, I think I can win this one! Oh. 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 Oh, it hurts, it hurts yeah, the area yeah, champion goes business. first, huh? What the what fuck does that mean? After the end of each level, you get to this strange card game thing. Apparently the pink guy is the area champion? I don't really understand the rules at all. How many pizzas do I want? But what kind of question is that? Give me them all! From what I can gather, you just pick a bigger number than he picks. And whoever picks the bigger number wins the battle. The first to fill his pizza meter down here wins overall. Pizza meter. I said pizza meter. Don't forget that, ever. Tell that to your kids. Tell that to your grandchildren. So it's just luck, I guess. Why would you ever pick the smaller number? Hee hee, I creamed. Yeah, okay, just as long as it's not on my delivery guy. Isn't wow. that overdoing it? Hey, you're the one that's the supposed champion of this shit! You're the one making me do it! Oh, I get it now. I need to eat a pizza because I'm having a fucking panic attack over here. I need a guy got a stress heat. Chester Cheetah also had his own game way back when. Chester Cheetah, too cool to fool. Oh god! Why he moves so slow? Is that some sort of joke? He's it's a cheetah! I think this is the slowest video game character of all time. I mean the, the turtle is faster. But to be fair, he is on roller skates, so it's not really a fair fight. Maybe this is the actual speed of a cheetah who's been fed an exclusive diet of Cheetos his entire life. The music is <laughs> in your head, man. You want to run, which is still not fast, by the way. If you could believe it, it might be slower. You gotta hold down a button, and then he's like, ah, ah, I'm gonna do it. He didn't even do it right away. It's the most unsatisfying, anticlimactic thing ever. But at least I can hump the ground in the pipe, in a cave. Pipe. Can't get to the exit, but I can do this. Yeah, uh-huh, you ain't touching this. Come back when you're older, daddy. Hey, what about the Kool-Aid man? He's kind of interesting. Does he have any games? I could have sworn I had something around here, but I thought I misplaced it. Oh. Hey, dude, what's hey, up? Hey, <laughs> Ethan! What's, what's your up? game, buddy? Your cool aid game here, man. man. Here you go. I'm the cool aid guy. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Oh, thanks. No problem, buddy. Hey, hey did you want some cool aid before I left it? Yeah, okay. You want to try a little cool aid? Okay. Punch, Punch me in the, the, the liver, dude. dude. What? 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 Punch what? me in the fucking liver! Oh, oh, no. no. Said just once, man. Oh, that, that was, was fucked up. up. All right, this is cool, cool right man. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Oh yeah. I'm gonna remember this moment for the rest of my life. <laughs> In this, you play as a jug of Kool-Aid, I guess. If you touch any of these cherry bomb guys, your pitcher goes all around the goddamn place, bouncing from wall to wall. But occasionally, the cherry bombs stop to take a diabetic sugar line piss, and then for some reason at that point, you can collect them? Huh? What? I can't move anymore. The darkest night has only just begun. 
I have no idea what just happened. The game just stopped. I mean, I'm at a real loss. It just went black and stopped. I'm not even trying to make a joke here. Can anyone make sense of this? I know it's an old game, but it's not even trying to be coherent. So I'll fill you in. Apparently what's happening here is that below all of this is a body of water, very obvious, I know, that these guys, known as thirsties, are sucking up through straws. Yeah, those are straws, I guess. Not sure what the multicolor thing is about, but hey, like I said, this was uh, 1983, anything was possible. They elected Ronald Reagan and he was pictured at least several times with a chimpanzee. Uh, he ran the United States, so it was also uh, in the feature film Bedtime for Bonzo, you know. You can only collect these guys if they're drinking the water. If the water goes down all the way, you lose. A uh, truth be told, I don't know why I didn't buy this game twice. Up next, the California Raisins. Also known as one of the most terrifying commercial campaigns to ever grace the United States. They made Michael Jackson a drive through the King of Pop, they've made him a sun bleached drink! Now you may not even have known this game existed, but that's because it technically doesn't. This game was fully finished and then never released. The few real copies of it that do exist are held in very high value, so I happen to have a reproduction card here. It starts up with this nice splash screen. Oh, okay. There's some Judge Raisins on a stand. Calrab? What does that mean? Is that short for California Raisins Band? If so, why is it on the Judge stand? Do they own the state? The story here is that the California Raisins have been kidnapped along with all their music, but, you know, did you save an MP3 somewhere? You could just, you know, Burn a couple on a disc, then it's not lost anymore. In this game, you apparently attack by scooping a piece of your stomach out and throwing it at the enemy. By the end of this level, there won't be much of them left. It plays pretty close to what you'd expect from a platformer from this era. I mean, it's not great, but I don't see why it was cancelable. I mean, they already spent all the money on making it. There's dead ends on practically every level, which is really annoying. But the bosses are pretty cool, I guess. I mean, I think it's a cool subjective, really. forsaken us! Oh okay, that was the last boss. I put him out of his misery. I don't know if all this was worth it, guys. Congratulate. Oh, okay. When you beat the game, it says congratulations. And it was worth it! Alright, here's a more straightforward one. Pepsi Invaders. It's just Space Invaders, but for Pepsi? Oh, but wait a second. Up there, it says Coke? So who's this game supposed to advertise for, Coke or Pepsi? Well, wait a sec! Coke wins? But this is before the game even starts! I didn't do anything! This is irrelevant to the matter at hand! This is just a statement! Oh, I see, so you're shooting Pepsi as Coke. You're destroying them. Very subtle, guys. After some research, I found out that unsurprisingly, this is an altered version of Space Invaders. But it was commissioned by Coca-Cola themselves for their 1983 sales convention. In some circles, the game is just referred to as Coke Wins. Probably a reference to that. Nice one, guys. Classy. I'm sure everyone was very impressed. Can you imagine them putting this up on a big screen at a convention? I mean, how insecure you gotta be? There were only about 125 copies made total. Nowadays, they can go up for $1,300 or more. Whoa, here she comes! If you wait for the pee to come down and kill you, it just never does. What can I say, guys? You have such a superior product that Pepsi can't even win when it wins! Yeah! Okay, Coke, you're Okay, Coke, we get it. You had your chance. Let's see how a tasteful company like Pepsi would market their product. Now we're getting into some deep shit. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Also, what? 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 Believe it or not, what you just witnessed was not the confiscated home videotape of a serial killer's mad ramblings. It was an official cutscene from Pepsi's own official PlayStation 1 classic, Pepsi Man. But look at this! This is how it really starts from moment one. It looks like a snuff film or something. As puzzling as it is, Pepsi made the choice to include all this live-action footage as part of the game. The game was Japan exclusive, but all the cutscenes take place in Los Angeles, California with this guy, OG Shunice over here. He speaks English, too. He's subtitled in Japanese. Look, I even found the exact corner he's on here in the city of Inglewood. Represent. 
Let's get together and make this a hollow site, man. Put up a monument or two. It looks like this guy left such a legacy, he ran the whole block out of business. Except for that old point of loco, of course, because let's face it, Hey, what do you see in there? Actually, don't tell me. I want to keep that part of myself intact. <laughs> You're doing pretty good. That doesn't mean much coming from you. In this world, everyone relies on Pepsi Man to solve their problems by uh, restocking Pepsi machines. Yeah, okay, checks out. I got a call at a vending machine ahead. Ran out of Pepsi, and I was just on my way there. Oh my god, that's like real desperation in that man's voice. He sounds like his family's been taken hostage. Whoa, okay, this is crazy. I can't believe I've never heard of this. You run through the streets and even people's homes while collecting Pepsi cans and dodging Pepsi trucks and other obstacles. The comedic timing here is great. It's very Japanese. <laughs> I don't know, though. There's just something unsettling about this. It's got a Truman Show thing going on. There's no music. And everything in this world is Pepsi. They live. They die for Pepsi. Pepsi is the currency, but Pepsi is also the enemy. Pepsi stops us, but it keeps us going, too. Pepsi is the hero and the villain. The good and the bad, the yin and the yang. One thing cannot be wholly good or wholly evil. That would be naive and unrealistic to assume. Yes, even our corporate titans have a crack in their facade. Well, their logo, it makes so much sense now. The blue represents the Pepsi, and the red represents the Pepsi. And the white represents an intricate inside job carried out by reptilians. Pepsi hung on a cross. He died for your sins. He was then jabbed in the side with a spear by the Romans. And a miracle! What came out was Pepsi. And the Roman soldier, he drank from the Pepsi, and he said, well, objectively, I just prefer Coke. And then, three days later, the Pepsi was flat. Everything's going dark. Oh, Grimbo, bring me a cold one! Oh, Grimbo! Grimbo, drink too much! Oh! Oh no! Oh Grimbo! Oh Grimbo, come back to me! Come back to me, Grimbo! John? No! Uh-oh. Hey, anyone home? We noticed that the track and cheap. And you asked me to call a call in head bus broke, so we brought you a new emergency replacement. Oh, wow. What happened here? Uh, sorry. I mean, I was playing these video games based on food, and I guess things got a little carried away. Oh, my God. I see now. I finally get it. It's all clear. The true meaning of Thanksgiving isn't food. Or thanks. Or family. For being a good, balanced person with personal responsibility. The dead video games cause everything that's wrong in the world. Like obesity, real life violence, and misogyny. That makes perfect sense. I see now. Thank you. It's hilarious. God bless the US media. A lot of you come to me asking how to make a YouTube video, or just a video in general, really. Well, it just so happens, my sponsor for this episode, Lynda.com, has all the answers you see. Anything ranging from software questions to the more creative questions. They just so happen to give wonderful tutorials on Adobe Premiere, Adobe Adobe, which we use here at JonTron. But that's not all. Oh, you think when did this video come out? No, this old. This old video. Oh, okay, there you go. This is 2015, dude. This is almost five, this is four plus years ago. But you think that's bad? I mean, I still have access to it. It's just the same thing, same content. All that content just moved over to LinkedIn. LinkedIn Pro. Well, you want to know the worst one out there? One of the worst ones out there for like advertising? Like be on people's older videos? Linus, Linus Tech, Tech Tips, tips and his uh, and his promotion of Tunnel Bear. Oh yeah, yeah. Tunnel Bear episodes. Yeah. yeah, and then, and then Tunnel Bear turns out being, being a very very naughty company. company. And, then and then Linus, Linus is just like, like well, well shit. Yeah, yeah now, now they, they may be able to have gone, gone back and, and uh, deleted all those promotions for Tunnel Bear, Bear from their uh, from their uh, uh, videos. What Tunnel Bear do? Uh, everybody's personal information. Really? Willingly. The, 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 the one, one they broke. broke. Basically, Basically, they, they were, were getting threatened by some kind of agency instead of fighting it, whatever. They just broke. And they and deliberately they did it. Gave too. away all, all the information and stuff like that. And it's like, oh. Shit, that's lovely. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> that's why. I, I actually had that on my phone for a little bit. For a reason. Yeah, and uh, now. The reason it wasn't anything bad. 
That's why. That's why. I literally was playing a uh, rhythm game with cute Asian uh, music and uh, anime girls. Good. Oh, uh, you know, okay. okay. You make a chart of their account so that I could have two accounts, so, account so, so I could play it from the beginning again and get a different set of trading cards and stuff. Uh, these tunnel tunnel where, like, 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 But, okay. So, so what the point is if you're not doing anything that shit on your internet. I just, I just like the privacy, dude. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it opens, opens up bandwidth and I can give it access to websites that are no longer there. Or, not that no, they're not it, no longer there, it's they're no longer provided by ISP because they can't afford it. Yeah, and also, they're, and also it gives you easier access to the uncategorized section of yeah. the internet yeah. known as the, the deep web. Not, not the dark, dark web. web. Cause Cause all, the, web. all those ROM and emulator websites that were there, they're all on the deep web now. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's easier for you to access it, plus no one can come in and just be like, oh, so this, so this is their information. Because whenever you go into the deep web, you're not going through an internet service provider, like, directly. You're instead going through, effectively, like a side window, and you're exposed whenever you're out there. So it's good to have something... To, to guard you. A VPN is good. Well, you can also have the access to other countries, internet too. My <coughs> oh, yeah. Um, I actually, actually like the content, content in the UK that doesn't does exist on the US, but if you put your searches in the UK, you can get access to their internet. Oh, yeah. I actually did that for uh, for like a UFC event. In the UFC, uh, UFC was uh, broadcasting an event on their uh, Fight Pass thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, they made it look like, like uh, uh, you know, if you signed up for Fight Pass and, and you were based out of Ireland, you got to watch the event for free. But, but you would have to pay, you'd have to pay, you'd have to pay a surcharge to watch it if you were in the states. And I'm like, oh, oh hello, be here, Dublin, Dublin, Ireland. Oh, oh so this. That's not illegal, though. I didn't admit to anything. Let's just say. You know, you know, my, my school, school has me watch, watch movies, movies and, uh, yeah, yeah, it's for educational purposes. Yeah. yeah. Educational purposes. Yeah. Agreed. It's, it's for education. educational purposes. Like, like master yeah. Yes. So, I didn't give up far, right? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't, I, I always endorse going the legal route for stuff, but here's the thing, if VPNs were meant to, Mm-hmm. Only to do illegal stuff. Then why, then why do they exist? exist? Why do why, why do, do internet, internet service providers and uh, and uh, the internet ser- or the uh, internet, internet security uh, exchanges, exchanges at the FBI, FBI and CIA? CIA why, why do they, they allow them to exist? I mean, they, they can just tell those websites. Oh, yeah, back, back in the, in the Gazan, 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 days, maybe your computers would. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, there, there were still viruses just attached to files. There were just viruses that were disguised as files. Oh, yeah. It was shady and open source. Hell, I didn't know what the fuck I was looking for. You know, to be honest, you could name it anything. I would have clicked on anything. Like, then I started realizing what's a trap and what's not. You know? Wait a minute. Why is this song I downloaded an EAT file? Like, why, why is this a dot dot BAT? What does that do? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell, tell you what. I'll tell, tell you what that means. I'll, I'll tell you exactly what that means. It's a trap. Yep. That's, That's it. it. Admiral Ackbar. That's not modern to download any extra shavers. Nowadays, yeah, it's, it's um. Well, well to be honest, honest there's, there's not really, really a reason to. to a lot of that stuff anymore. Well, it's just like Disney Plus, dude. Disney Plus has opened up a lot of people's eyes to 
you know, know the Disney, Disney library pretty, pretty much being fully available yeah, for eight ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's that's just just as expensive as renting a movie at Blockbuster back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Except for what? Nick? Except for under wraps and uh, the Boogie, Boogie Man movie. What else did name Oh. Uh, that's like channel movies they need to put on there. Yeah, like, the, the one with the shit. Like that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I got it. That, that was Disney Channel. Channel. Oh, do you remember? Do yeah. you remember the punk? Yeah. I remember, I remember in England is like the fucking yeah, the yeah, the yeah. 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 I love that movie. Yeah, yeah. then drops the goose poo on them. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's like, and he's, and he's just like, skin it, skin it. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. And then of course there was Bones as well. What's up, Bones? Girls all subscribed for that movie. His name was Funger or whatever. Yeah. I, I missed that movie. Yeah, yeah, I had a lot of fun with the movies. Yeah, there's some uh, movies that were really good. I remember, I remember Punk because uh, that movie was, was one of the first ones I ever saw Jessica Alba in. And I was just like, mm -hmm. I'm in love. Will you Will you marry me? Oh, you're marrying this guy who's actually rich. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I remember her in that movie. She, she actually was like, I think 13 or 14, and she faked having a pregnancy. <laughs> She's, She's just, just like, like running, running around the parking park park lot, like, oh god, it's, it's coming. coming! I can feel it. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Well, uh, that's gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. This was John Tron Food Games Part Two, which featured Pepsi Man. Do, 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 do. Sorry. All right. Well, well until, until next time, everybody signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. And I'm Jake. And we'll see you all in the next, everybody. Peace out.